Judgment Day. Uh, this window right here and everything actually shows the damages from just doing a 30-day challenge. I just completed the Amazonian Maze. So as you can see, even though I didn't really fish too much and everything like that, it damaged all my stuff. So to repair all that, 95000 just to get through 30 days with no fishing. So uh, I actually kind of wanted to throw this video together uh, so people actually knew because I know a lot of people don't know how to uh, do things and all that the easiest way. So the other way that it actually gets damaged is being equipped. So what's a way around that? Unequip your stuff. Well, the stuff that'll let you unequip anyways. I'm not too worried about that, but the fishnet and things of that nature are expensive to fish, especially fishnet. So when you go to a different location, you definitely want to, uh, all right. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, unequipping, uh, my tackle box and everything like that, uh, through all my gear that I had into it back into my inventory. <laughs> so as you can see, I had some 70 items in my tackle box, so went back to my home storage, which ain't no problem and all that. Once I uh, get done with this 30-day challenge, I'll just put all the stuff back that I want to play with. But you still see I carry all my lures. But my inventory is only 60, 61 uh, strong. So. But like I said, not too worried about it. Uh, I'm actually uh, on the premise of doing my 30 day challenge. And that is pretty much why it won't let me take off that stuff. Because it dropped too much inventory back into an already excessive tackle box. But the good thing is, most of the stuff that I want is right there to bring back. So, alright. So I just did Amazonian Maze 30 Day Challenge. I don't know what the uh, 30 Day Challenge reward is for... Marin, but let's go check that out. So we'll buy the license and go to Marin. But I plan on going through each of the levels and everything, getting all the uh, uh, all the uh, good stuff and everything like that from this. So. Because I can get rid of a lot of other lures that are just basic lures once I get the X-Series lures. I mean, there's no point in having regular lures when I got X-Series. So this is basically why I did this. I went through my inventory yesterday and got rid of a ton of uh, gear that I'd never really used. But I don't want my inventory completely full where it goes to my home storage, so... We'll get rid of some of the junk. Red worms I can get for free, and they're pretty cheap, so I'm not really worried. Uh, if you checked out my uh, video on uh, Lone Star, you know, for beginners under 30, it actually shows that location. Uh, large cup 8, 69, I can get rid of that. So that gives me four spots because I don't know what 30 day challenge will give me for this. So, going to see. Amazonian, it was uh, X Series line or something like that. So.
So the easiest way to do the 30 day challenge is to go to the first mark on the first night. Because if you know anything about that, there's no cooldown once you pass 9 o'clock. So you literally can go to the next day and it just charges you the 15,000 to go to the next day. So you literally can sit here and do your 30 night challenge without actually having to fish or waste any time. That way I can just focus solely on getting the 30 day challenge done, getting the rewards for it, and not actually having to do all the crap to do it. So Now you want to watch out and everything. Uh, I showed in my last video when I just finished it off that if you go to the next morning, you'll have a two, to, two hour cooldown. before you can uh, fast travel for free again unless you spend a bait coin but that's why if you ever watch my videos uh, I usually fast travel to about seven eight o'clock at night so I catch some fish real quick then it hits nine o'clock and I'm able to fast travel to the next day for free so like these days this would be a pain in the butt because all the peak hours are at the beginning. So, but Marin, see, 11th day, peak hours here. So I would go here. And uh, I'd only have to fish for a little bit and everything before I could fast travel to the next day at the peak hours. So, so easy way to do your 30 day challenges if you haven't done them and I haven't done I don't think any of my 30 day challenges most I've done on most lakes is maybe uh, the second level and you don't want to go to next morning because next morning will take you right there then you have two hours before you can fast travel unless you use a bait coin But that's also why if you go to these lakes and all that, the amount that it costs to go to these lakes, it's only 1500 uh, bucks and everything, which is less than one fish to go to the next day. So if you're worried about making a profit, you definitely want to stay multiple days anytime you go to a lake. So right now I'm just going to go through and uh, get my 30 day challenges to get my X-Series gear from these lakes. And this is the easiest way to do it instead of actually trying to fish for 30 days. <laughs> But I did the Amazonian and it cost me 98000 to repair my gear. And that's kind of why I took off my fish net, my tackle box, and you can see uh, my rod stand is the, uh, my rod holder is the only thing that's taken damage. And uh, uh, my vest, which those are cheap to fix, but. This won't cost me anywhere near $98,000 now and everything like that to repair my gear just for going 30 days without fishing. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much how you do it. Nighttime, you don't have a cooldown, so you just fast forward to the next night. And it makes it very, very simple to do your 30 days. And I have no idea what Marin will give me. So, uh, Amazonian gave me uh, X Series line. So, we are one day away. From seeing what Marin gives us. 
All right, challenge complete, Marin Traveler 3. Five bait coin and X series sinkers. So, five and a half ounce. So, that ain't too bad. I'm sure I can use that at some point. So, 30 day challenge done. Marin. And as you can see, the only thing I got to actually repair from 30 days is my rod holders, or uh, you know my Super Volt, which is only 57. A lot better than uh, 95,000. All right, let's do the same thing at Maku Maku. See what that gives us. And at this point, I'm not really worried about money and everything. It's kind of easy. Uh, I'm farming out for levels, so it's not like uh, I'm not going to make it back. But this will at least give people an idea or let them know and everything like that what you get for doing the 30 day challenges where they don't actually have to look through a hundred different challenges and everything like that to find out what gives what. First day, all you gotta do, since you don't got a cooldown, let's go to the first night. And you can fast forward 24 hours, or you can fish at night if you want to. If you wanna, if you don't wanna uh, have that cost you 1,500 every single day, if you're low on funds, you can actually go out and catch one fish. That way it pays for the fast travel to the next night, if that's what you want to do. Uh, I got 700 and some thousand, so not really worried about the cash. Pretty much bought everything that I want up until uh, I reach level 72, but by the time I grind out to 72, I'll probably have a million back or well over a million.
So yeah, it don't take you very much time to fast forward to 30 days, so. I'm just sitting there uh, grinding out uh, levels and everything like that, catch a bull shark. Got kind of bored with it. It's like, eh, well, let's go ahead and do this. All right. And here is the reward X Series Titanium Leader, leader point oh one eight. And another five bait coin. So it's actually worth it just uh, for the bait coin if you need the, the bait coin. So up to 302 bait coin. All right. So as you can see, and that is 81.5 pound test. So I could definitely use that, especially on uh, my uh, bait cast pool. It's at 88. So, if, uh, you know, I need to catch something and everything like that, I can actually throw the titanium leader on, which might help. And then the X-Series floor that I got from uh, Amazonian is 79 pounds. And then I got the uh, X-Series sinker, half five and a half ounces. So you can see my setup, I can go from seven eight to three and a half ounces. So that's definitely for a higher level uh, bottom pool. Casting weight six and a half to ten uh, to ten and a half ounces. So that sinker would work really, really well in uh, fast moving water to keep it from uh, getting drug away. All right, Marin is done. thousand for uh, the vest that's why I said you want to kind of take off as much as you can <laughs> uh, people in chat are funny all right so we got Amazonian Marin and Maku Maku done Crab would be the next one uh, going level wise. The lower level lakes probably give you some junk and everything like that because they're lower level. <laughs> so that's kind of why I'm doing in order with the levels right now. And I actually loved farming blue crab. Blue crab was so fun. I actually spent a lot of time. You can catch a lot right from the dock. But 
my favorite area to fish. Let's you start off here. It was right down here. In this little area right here, there's a little spot. You can throw right out here, and there is a ton of unique of multiple uh, fish species, including the tarpon. You can see them spooling out there all at the branch right there. So, let's see what I get for a 30 day challenge here. So, what do you all think I will get for Blue Crab? Because <laughs> what brought this up was I actually tried to find uh, a listing of everything that you get from all the lakes, and I couldn't really find anything that says it. So... I was just kind of curious about what you actually get. Yeah, I already had that. I got it from, uh, I think, a tournament. So, but the five bait coin will just be put with the other ones. So, yeah, the X Series Glow and Halo Casting Nighttime Spoon. I already had, but whatever. Series glow and halo casting spoon. Right. Well, there's Marin. Another five bait coin.
I like this area a lot better. Better view for doing this. <laughs> As you can see, this is actually where I... I forgot I even had those markers still out. Oh, there's a bunch of markers I can use. Yeah, the F1 Hybrid. That was a pain in the butt to catch. But I ended up catching one at midday. And catching one at midday. And then I caught one at night. But I caught my three carp glosses right here. Got another F1 hybrid over there. So, yeah, that F1 hybrid is a pain in the butt to catch. That was one of the worst fish to try to catch and everything like that in this game so far. Well, except, uh, I don't know, it, it was up there and everything with the... Uh, uh, the slasher at Emerald, the fish monster at uh, Emerald Lake, and everything, the slasher pike. That thing was a pain in the butt, too. Because it just took so long to bite, where uh, you'd miss out on the time frame for to get it to bite. Then you'd have to go to the next night and sit there and wait for it. Ooh, geez, really? I didn't even get the uh, second one on this one. Like I said, I haven't uh, really fished too much at Weeping Willow. I came over here, grabbed my uh, uniques, did the Fish Monster mission, and haven't been back. So, three bait coin and a marker buoy. So, there we go. Alright, X-Series Glow Crawl 4. 
and another five Bitcoin. So yeah, if you're wanting Bitcoin to do something or extend your storage or any of that crap and everything like that, that's actually a really good way to uh, get your Bitcoin up too. But as you can see, I got 515,000. Uh, it's been about 200,000 just fast forwarding it through uh, the uh, four lakes now. So not too bad. Uh, it's easy to get back, especially when you're farming for levels like I am right now. So, but there you go. There's another lake done. So, got that at Amazonian. Got that at, I think it was Maku Maku. So, good way to get X series, get it done. Now I got an X series uh, glow crawl so I can get rid of my uh, series, uh, my crawfish three. So, good way to replace your uh, normal lures with uh, X series. Like to get me some uh, Craig bait. Well, I got the uh, Golem lure for that. And all right, I'm gonna check out the next place. Oh yeah, uh, that reminds me. See, there's always a bunch of new players in the thing. That's why I'm always sharing stuff with people. Uh, because instead of repeating myself a million times to everybody that's always in there, uh, I just leave that in there. Uh, but the Fishing Planet boat series that's coming up unlocks the lights to St. Crooks, Sander Baggersey, Octuba, Blue Crab, and Blue Crab. <laughs> so the two good ones are St. Croix and Blue Crab.
Yeah. Like we want to go to, because yeah, I haven't done uh, the uh, uh, missions for a lot of stuff. All right, let's see. Tuba River. I don't even think I've done 30 days on uh, Lone Star. And that's the first lake. Yeah, if you're starting out and everything like that, uh, and of course you're low on cash, which everybody is when they start out, you know, you gotta actually make fish, uh, money to get fish. This is going to be one of your be best friends. There's a little spot right here, you can see. You get free bait. Best place I've found to get uh, bass. I mean, you can do all right here, but the best, the absolute best place to get bass is right here between these two spots. Right out in here, coming right through here. And uh, the Mad Eye Buffalo, that's where I got it right here too. Right up in this area. Alright, let's get the 30 day challenge done.
game can't keep up with it. Keeps wanting to lag out. Well, the good thing is, uh, for Lone Star, it costs you nothing to go to the next day, which is really nice. So, I might try doing a lot of the lower level lakes and see if the cost is down. Because they're all uh, the top lakes and everything that I just did cost me 1500 to go to each day, the cost for this is zero. So, I'm actually amazed that I didn't do this sooner, but like I said, I didn't really need the things. Uh, the lures I was using worked just fine. But X-Series, uh, I'm actually uh, wanting to get into tournaments a lot more now. So, X-Series stuff is definitely important to me right now. And this is a great way to get a lot of X-Series stuff. And the reason I'm doing it. Right, last day. All right, challenge complete. X series float. <laughs> Move to storage under the excess section. What? No. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that. So you can go way over, you just can't really buy anything new or anything like that. So, doesn't really matter. Star done. Oh, we have Colorado, California. Uh, this was one of my favorite spawns right here. And actually, and everything, I've been buying the uh, uh, fishing lures and all that, or uh, the fishing passes. You shouldn't actually have to do that. I don't even rem know why I did it and everything. It's just force a habit after getting fined a couple times and everything to always buy it. So it's like second nature and everything like that to buy the pass. So, not even going to worry about buying the pass, which should severely decrease uh, my cost from having to buy the damn pass, uh, day pass for each lake. But we'll see if uh, the uh, day extension and everything like that is done on this. Now this was one of my favorite farms too. This is one of my main farms that I did. The sturgeon. As you can see, uh, I always marked that and everything to the water edge. But we'll go ahead and delete that because I don't fish here. Uh, right along here and everything like that is great for steelhead. This right here for the bass. But right through here and right in the deep and all that is where you're going to catch all your sturgeon. I always do one pull out there, one pull out, you know, right by those uh, wooden planks sticking up. And then pretty much in the deep water all around here. 
So, great place to grind out sturgeon. Cost two thousand dollars here. Pricey. A lot of people on here fishing. At level twelve and level twenty three. And uh, I might actually go back to farming a little bit and everything, make up the, what, 300,000 <laughs> that I blew doing this. I don't want to get down too far. There's a tournament coming up and all that uh, that I pretty much have to go back to forth between places. So I don't like getting my money down. Ever since I got my last fine, which was a long time ago, I don't go under 200,000. But like on the events, ooh, there we go. I wasn't even paying attention. All right, San Jaco Adventure 3. Enjoy the San Jaco Delta and his premises. X Series Walker, half ounce, four aught. That's actually kind of what I was looking for. Uh, yeah. So you don't even have to buy your license uh, unless you want to fish. So it costs 2000 a day times 30 days. So if you got the money to spare, you know, just go there, fast forward 30 days, and uh, enjoy your free lures. Actually, that was one of the ones I needed was uh, the X-Series... Uh, uh, four up. Because I was using the uh, two ounce. Uh, 
uh, yeah, the one and a, uh, yeah, I got a one and a half ounce four aught, but the one I use all the time was uh, the two ounce four aught. It's probably in my home storage, but uh, you know those are just regular X series works a lot better. But I'm gonna go back here, get all my crap done, and uh, go back to farming bull shark. But at least that's uh, what Lone Star, that's uh, California, the San Joaquin, uh, Amazonian Maze, Maku Maku, and Marin. And I even did Weeping Willow. So those are the uh, rewards and all that for those lakes right there. Money is not a problem if you don't have premium. You get a little extra for premium, but nothing really to uh, enough to make or break you if you do it right. But starting out, it's a pain in the butt. But like I said, uh, I went 60,000 negative here, so it actually took me a week and a half of grinding out at Lone Star to make 90,000. And that's your first lake. So 90,000 worth of bass in a week and a half. So you definitely don't want to farm there a lot. You want to go to your other lakes uh, early on and everything where you get more money for fish because your top one's going to be like, what, 200 bucks? Where you go to Falcon and everything like that, they're four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And I never really fished at Emerald. I always uh, bypassed Emerald, Naren, Mudwater, Quanchin. Quanchin was pretty decent and everything like that. Uh, but Quanchin and everything like that, I went after the Alligator Gar. So, bigger fish, bigger money, bigger experience going to these lakes and fishing for smaller stuff is a pain in the butt but falcon and rocky or well falcon anyways you can use uh, a boat which makes it a lot easier just like san joaquin so i uh, bypassed all these two only time i've re ever really went to any of these was uh for missions So, and there's what I'm after. The Congo. Four, four and a butt hair away from being able to go there. <laughs> so, good, good, good. All right, well, I'm going to go back to farming out uh, Bull Shark on Amazonian Maze. I'm going to stop my feed there uh, and redo it so I can actually upload this video uh, to YouTube so people can actually see that and get some use out of uh, locations for free lures.